So earlier today, 2K announced that Stone Cold Steve Austin was going to be the cover superstar for WWE 2K16. Now, I've got a few things to talk about this, you know, some positive, some negative, just basically analysing whether or not Stone Cold was the right choice. Uh, before I go into this, I just want to say um, thank you for watching my videos. If you have been, if you've been a subscriber for a while, I just want to thank you for your continued support of my channel. If you haven't subscribed, there's more content, so go through my other videos as well if you want. There's WWE videos, Dragon Ball Universe videos, Mortal Kombat videos. More to come as well. I just want to make a quick announcement that my first review on this channel will be Godzilla vs. Uh, give me a few days, maybe up to a week or so, to really get a grip to the game first before the review comes out. Because I really want to experience the game before I put the review out. So there's all that as well. So um, if you haven't subscribed, please do because there's a lot more coming on this channel. And hopefully that you'll find something you like. So... Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin is the cover of Superstar for 2K16. Uh, I'm not going to complain about it so much because, I mean, like most people who watch the Attitude Era growing up, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's one of my favourite superstars of all time. And he's been in some of my favourite matches of all time. You know, Bret Hart at WrestleMania 13 uh, versus The Rock at WrestleMania 19 and a load of other matches in between. So I'm not going to necessarily complain about Stone Cold being on the cover. It doesn't really bother me that much, but... I can't help but feel that maybe there was a few better choices. Uh, they seem to be marketing the fact that it's 2K16 around the Austin 316 thing that he did. I suppose that's kind of a bit of a marketing thing that they're trying to take advantage of. Um, I th honestly, I think that they should be focusing on some current day stars since a lot of their current day stars are really becoming big stars. You know, in WWE, you know, you got Dean Ambrose, who is one of the most popular superstars in the WWE. You got Roman Reigns, someone who's really about to break out into a world of his own. Okay, he's not the most popular superstar, but at least he's relevant and current. And he's one of their top guys. I mean, he won the Royal Rumble this year. Uh, you could have put Bray Wyatt on there. You could have put Seth Rollins on there. You know, there's a load of people in the WWE who could have been on that cover. And, you know, in terms of legends, Stone Cold's probably one of the biggest, you know, one of the main picks that they could have picked. Especially with the rumor that Stone Cold is probably going to have his own showcase mode as well. Um... All of that, though, you know, I can't help but feel the best choice would have been someone current, someone modern. You know, I'm not going to be typical IWC here and start saying, oh, Dolph Ziggler. You know, Dolph Ziggler, as much as I love Dolph, isn't one of their top guys. You know, Daniel Bryan's injured. It was never going to be Daniel Bryan. He's been injured way too much over the last two years. Um, you know, it's not going to be fucking Zack Ryder or something. So, realistic stars. They've got Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt. Um, you know, even someone like Sting, who made his first WWE, you know, match at WrestleMania this year. So, you know, there's a load of people they could have picked as well. I've got mixed feelings about Stone Cold being announced, because as much as I love Stone Cold, and as much as everybody loves Stone Cold, maybe it's time to start focusing and pushing their current stars. I mean, yeah, Stone Cold will probably, may bring in a few people who haven't watched WWE for about 10 years, and they might say, oh, I love Stone Cold as a kid, might pick this game up and have a look, but... I mean, it's not really doing anything to push any of their current stars. I mean, John Cena's not going to be around forever. I mean, they're going to need new faces of the company very soon. So, I mean, marketing these stars is one of the ways of doing that. And marketing one of the superstars as a cover, for, uh, as a cover superstar for the game, you know? Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of riffing here. I'm just kind of just spouting stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted about this, to be honest. Uh, the, the box looks cool, you know, the cover looks cool, they're going to announce it officially on Raw, uh, WWE.com has put up an article about it, so it's definitely confirmed 100%, um, hopefully we're going to get a collector's edition who isn't Stone Cold, though, I mean, they generally do collector's editions with different legends and stuff, uh, they did Hulk Hogan last year, they did The Undertaker in 2K14, they did Stone Cold in W13, which is the reason why I don't want Stone Cold to be the collector's superstar this year, um, I've been collecting the little signed photo cards that have been putting out since WWE 13. So hopefully it's someone different. I'm really hoping for Sting. Although it could be, you know, Triple H or whoever. You know, I'm not going to complain. As long as it isn't Stone Cold, The Undertaker or Hulk Hogan, I'm going to be fine with that. Because I've got them every single year, the collector's edition. I'll probably get it again this year for the photo card. Um, but I hope it's not Stone Cold again. Um... Yeah, this is just kind of my thoughts, just a quick rundown, you know, um, just to offer my thoughts and get the discussion going. 
So comment in the comment section below who do you think should have been the cover for, the cover superstar? Are you happy with it being Stone Cold? Or do you agree with me that maybe it should have been one of their modern day stars? So leave your comment in the comment section below. Let's get a discussion going. Uh, like this video, share it on social media, subscribe for more content because I'll be doing a lot more content in the future. When 2K16 hits, I'll be doing a few videos on that, including a review. Uh, there's a Godzilla vs. Re uh, review coming up in the next you know, few weeks. Uh, I'm going to be doing reviews of a lot of games I get, and there's going to be a lot more content coming in between. So subscribe for a lot of content like that. If, you know, No matter what sort of games you're into, there's probably going to be something on this channel for everyone. So, uh, yeah. So thank you for watching. Again, if you're if you're a subscriber for a long time, thank you for your continued support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do because there's gonna be so much more channel uh, content on this channel that you're probably gonna be interested in. Uh, this has just been my very quick thoughts on Stone Cold being the cover for, uh, cover superstar for WWE 2K16, and you know I've got mixed feelings. I'm not gonna complain because I love Stone Cold, but I don't know. I just can't, I kind of feel like they could have gone in, and they probably should have gone a different way. Um, I don't know, you know, just me throwing around a couple of thoughts, start a discussion really, so uh, keep that discussion going, comment in the comment section below, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.